Hey everyone, welcome to the UVD Weekly Wrap-Up, the show where the team from UrbanVinylDaily.com goes over everything there is to know in the designer toy, art, street art, and Sophia world. I'm your host, Travis Likens. And I'm Ben Beers. And we're here for episode 46. The Road to, to Five, five points. points Festival. That Ben just keeps trying to call it Music Festival. I Al- didn't. Th- although... You're the one who used music right now, so... Although they did want to have music at their show, it is not incorporated in the title of their show. So, uh, we'll start out, though, by thanking our sponsors. First off, with Gallery F. Next, with Rotofugi. And finally, Strange Cat Toys, where if you use the code UVD at checkout, you'll receive 10% off your order. So, thanks, guys, for giving us that code. And we got word from owner of Strange Cat Toys himself. Corey. That People use the code UVD all the time. So yes, thank you listeners for supporting our uh, code and supporting our friends over Strange Cat Toys and saving money at the same time. So, Which I wonder what they're buying. If they're buying Luna's or the UVD sponsored beard oil. They're just buying or pins. They're just buying toys. So that's or, all, or, all that matters. Or, or buying their shipping. And uh, they're buying uh, Jermaine Rogers thingies. Dearest. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, but anyway, this episode we are talking about specifically five points festival hosted Music festival <laughs> hosted by clutter uh and um, um left field media i believe it is um they and are beer sponsor laganitas so they are they are hosting um the five points fest which includes but not limited to designer toys comic artist beer food and like food trucks. So this actually sounds like the best party ever at pier 39 and it's at pier 39 taking place both days, May 20th and 21st. So Saturday and Sunday this weekend. And there is a little thing that takes place before it, which um, is the 19th. It's the designer toy award. So we'll get more into that as we go, but it's really just a weekend of fun and toys and art and food and beer. So unfortunately, We will be on the road going the opposite direction from uh, five points. So we will not be there. Um, Not not the collective we, the collective him. Yeah. So I'm going to Kansas this weekend. So I will not be in attendance, but I will be there in spirit. I'll be painting. Sounds like fun. Uh, Almost as fun as uh, riding to Kansas in a car. Yep. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, news involving five points fest. We will start off with booth number one three nine and that is my plastic heart they will have a bunch of releases starting off with the pocket pork dumplings by shawnimals this is the choice cuts edition which features uh the pocket pork dumpling and it has like the little dash lines that are kind of showing like the cuts of meat um pretty cute look a little little figure make sure to grab one of those if you're into the shawnimals uh, those little dumplings i know there's been a bunch of them so i'm sure there's people that have a wide selection of them uh, next up is the Mitt Ice Candy by 628. I had never heard of this uh, this artist or this figure, so this was new to me, but it's basically like a little dog in a crash helmet inside of a bumper car. And it looks like it's soft vinyl, and um, it'll be available at the booth this weekend. Uh, they also have new custom 5-inch dunnies from one Andrea Kang. Uh, the Rascal, Melon, and King custom 5-inch dunnies will be available at their booth. Uh, they also have a honey cat, which is a box cat. Um, it's by Rato Kim, Rato Kim. I'm not sure how you say that name. We didn't practice that at a time, um, but it's a cute little uh, box cat that is decorated like a bee. So it's got wings and you know yellow with stripes and stuff like that. If you're a friend of uh, fan of cute little products, it's right up your alley. Um, and then finally, the thing I have on the list is Kano. We'll have a new colorway of his hype pins available at the booth. So uh, if you're a fan of Kano. Um, you'll also want to go outside and check out the mural that he is painting this week. Um, it's right near, uh, five points fest and it's hosted by the Lisa project. Uh, it's a four story mural. Um, and it is supposed to be done in time for the show. So, uh, we'll see if Kano is still outside painting. Um, you can also try to catch and grab one of his snapback hats that says make vinyl urban again. If um, only they had the word daily on there, <laughs> make vinyl urban vinyl daily again. <laughs> So uh, no, nobody would wear that hat. But, I would. Oh, well, Ben would. Um, but if you're interested in one of those, I I'm, I'm think he's going to be selling them himself. Um, so you can just kind of try to find them and grab one of those snapbacks before they are gone. 
At booth 226, Andrew Bell, also known for his enterprise as Dead Zebra Inc., will have a couple of different things that he's announced. The first thing is the Moth Shadow Boxes, which he has a couple of. Uh, it's a matte black looking one for $150, or there's a Cold Cast Bronze for $250. He also has the Last Night, which is the, the, the night, like chess piece, a Glow in the Dark Edition, which is 100 pieces for $75, and he'll have it. I'm assuming a handful of those. He's not going to bring all 100, but he'll have a handful at the festival. The rest will be online. Very cool. Uh, next up, Mishka, booth number 325. And in addition to the uh, the clothing that they will be bringing, they will also have the first U.S. release of Lamore Supreme's The Beast. So you've, we've heard of, you've heard us talk about this before. Uh, this edition was hand-painted by one Lamore Supreme. So... Uh, I'm sure these are going to go um, lottery. Yeah, they didn't say on the uh, on the old Instagram there, but um, I'm sure they're not going to be first come first server. It looks like it's an edition of like four uh, based on the photos. So uh, some of that will be more info when you get to the show. The other reveal that has been uh, shown off so far is that Mishka has teamed up with Miscreation Toys to create a custom edition of the Psycho Ape um, giant massive Safubi figure. It's like 14, 13 inches, something like that. And it's a, uh, it'll be a custom edition features a very cool, like, it looks like it's like stapled together. Um, like, cause it's the two heads. So it's like ripping apart and, um, has multiple colors all over the figure. So it's almost like it's patchwork together. Um, pretty cool little or not little, but pretty cool looking, uh, custom there. So make sure to head over to the Mishka booth number three, two, five, and check out all the awesome stuff they're going to have besides this. As we continue down the row at two, two, three. We started at two, two, I started at 226, now it's 223. One-Eyed Girl and Lick Your Elbow Art will have a couple pieces. The couple pieces that we saw from One-Eyed Girl is she'll have five hatchlings for $90. And so for those of you who are not familiar with those, those are customs of the Lunartic Cup of Tea figure. And she will have the Yummy Critters and Cronies figures for 50 to to $100, which are effectively custom monies and many other things. So next up, though, we're going to hit a big wall of news here. This is uh, Clutter's booth, which uh, since Clutter's putting on the show, you can only assume that they're going to have a bunch of stuff. Uh, their booth is number 234. And first up on the list, we have the Splurt Masterworks Collection uh, Cadaver Kid. It's the massive version of the Cadaver Kid, so not the little tiny one um, that just released last year at Decon. So I think this is only the like third release of this it is limited to just 12 pieces and this colorway is a clear vinyl cast with glit uh, like purple glitter mixed inside of it so um, it's a pretty cool looking uh, piece again limited to 12 pieces next up luke Chu's dissected bearhead black and bone edition it's limited to just 50 pieces and it's a black version of the dissected bearhead and it comes with the pool of Fake blood. Blood. Underneath it. So it's a pretty cool looking piece. Uh, next up is kind of a self-serving news, but the next edition of Luna Has been announced. Has been announced and will be available at the Clutter Booth at Five Points Fest. Um, the pink edition is limited to just 50 pieces. And we'll give you some insider news. Other than the blank edition... This is the lowest number edition. So this is the rarest one you can get that has paint on it. Um, if you're looking to have the rarest figure available in the Luna line, make sure to grab the pink one. It will be only $60. So right there, same in line with all the Lunas. Um, it's a booth 234. Uh, we and the bots are very excited to get this one out on the street. Really like how this color turned out. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. And, uh, they will also at the, at the clutter booth have, um, clutter DTA and five points themed pins. So if you're an enamel pin collector, you can get the clutter logo, the little DTA, um, statue looking logo, um, a five points logo and a couple of other pins all mixed in very cool looking stuff. And they will have an exclusive, which we've talked about before, Gary ham, three inch dunny. Um, that's only available at their booth. And um, if you're paying attention, there are two other versions as well. One is only available through the VIP package. And I think one is at the Kid Robot booth, maybe. I I'm not sure what the other one is. But you can get one at the uh, Clutter booth. So if you're a fan of the Dunny and you want something kind of rare and exclusive to the show, there's your chance. As part of the DTA Dunny series. No, 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 no. This one is the exclusive 
Yeah, yeah. but it's of the design, I thought. No, oh. no, no, no. It's different. It's, it's exclusively for Five Points Fest. So it's based on the Clutter logo. So the, the green one that you saw that you're talking mm. about is actually just the Chase colorway of the figure within the series, the DTA Dunny series. So yeah. we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. We'll circle back around then. Paper and Plastic and DLL Customs will be at booth 222, almost too many twos. And they'll have a handful of resins of the items that Paper and Plastic showed off. There will be multiple colorways of the resin monkey figures. So there was like a businessman's edition. So it's like a, a black suit with colored heads. And then it's then there's like wavy colors to, for the different editions. And there's also, I saw somewhere, I couldn't really find where it was said, but Carson Catlin themed and designed a resin skull head as if he was given like a plastic version of the paper and plastic logo to cut up and then they put it in resin to make it. Hmm. But so I may be making it up, but I thought I saw it somewhere, <laughs> but a boot two, two, two. Ben fake news. <laughs> News is news, whether it's true or not. Yeah, we could just sit here and make up stuff. Nobody would know. There'd be people like at the booth, like, where is this thing? The UVD booth. Booth 007. <laughs> Look for us. <laughs> we'll be there. 007. <laughs> so uh, next up, though, we have information coming from the Black Drove booth. It's number 333. Uh, the big news they've released so far actually is tied to Mutant Vinyl Hardcore, who will be taking over that booth. Well, not taking over, but using part of it on uh, Saturday afternoon, time to be determined. So, um, you know, just start hovering around noon at some point. Mutant Vinyl Hardcore will show up. Plop a squat. And uh, release their figures. The big news that they have is that they have the Plague Face, which is the Two-Face Troll. Um, That's edition. not very nice to say. <laughs> yeah, it's a marbled edition, which it's kind of like um, like gray and orangey looking. Uh, it's It's interesting. Uh, and a classic Two Face would be a different color, but would be, would be too much to ask for. Yeah. No, um, but it it's going to have um, it comes with the the toga cloth and all kinds of other little accessories to make it special for this release. Uh, looks pretty limited. He hasn't released a number or anything like that. Uh, but there also will be um, Bernie and Sludge marble um, releases as well. Um, so if you can't get one of the big figures, you'll you'll be able to get those literal ones. Um, you know, have a chance at that. Um, more than likely, it's probably going to be a lottery release. He hasn't given any details, but so that's what I'm just saying. Just hover around noon on Saturday, and uh, you might have a shot at getting it. Um, at the booth, they will also have releases from True Tech, Gory Hole, Unbox Industries, Wonder Goblins, Kent Toys, and many, many more. Uh, they also have some Black Drove releases. Um, they they haven't like shared a whole lot of information. So there could be a lot of really, really cool surprises at the booth. Uh, so you're at, at five points, make sure to stop by three, three, three and check them out. I thought you said something else other than gory hole. So that's why I looked over, oh. but regardless, Gary Ham's booth, one thirty one has a brick of stuff, which for those of you who follow Gary, you already know most of this, but for those of you live under a rock, here's your news. Fatty whooper after years and years and years, of waiting. And years <laughs> and years of waiting. He's finally making a debut at Five Points Festival. There will be 30 pieces, $55 each. And this was sculpted, I believe, by Chris Reiniak. Yeah, it's been so long people have forgotten. But yes, it was sculpted by Chris Reiniak. And it's kind of like a minty green, turquoise yep. greenish color. Yep. And that is the same or similar color for the Whooper Looper. That is 30 pieces and $60. There's also the Logan Wood Stump. Roto casted on the spot by Brotherford. The white is $30 and will be made available to the non attendees, so online, I imagine. And the blue edition and the orange edition are $35 each. And to make it even more exclusive, the molds will be broken at the end of five points. And, and Gar we are told Gary Ham will be on site and able to, like, kind of personalize your, your Logan a little bit. Like, if you wanted, uh, you know, like initials on the back of it or something or some sort of customiz customization done to it. Very simple customization. He's not going to stand there and paint this thing up. Um, but, you know, simple customization he will do um, included. So. Could you convince him to do some Angry Beavers related things and just have it log? <laughs> log. Log. Anyway, more. There is Whooper Looper Plush by Lana Crooks, $55 each. There was not a specified amount, but imaginably a small amount. It's like a pillow, too. It's very It cool. is a pillow. It's a throw pillow. Throw pillow. That's so that means put it's, it on not, couch. it's not just meant to sit there. And you're not supposed, you're supposed to put to your head throw on it. it. <laughs> throw it at the people and things. There's also, I guess the last thing I have, is the Art Pin Collection. It has a white looper 
the Wooper. white Wooper Looper. White Wooper Looper pin at <laughs> Gary's booth. And there is the turquoise Looper pin at booth 344, which is the Power Core booth. Very cool. Next up, Kid Robot, booth number 255. 255. We'll be releasing their Mr. Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle. The pink edition. And um, they didn't say a price yet, but it's uh, like a glittery looking Mr. You know, Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle from The Simpsons. And they will also have in limited quantities. I'm sure they'll have a myriad of other things, but in limited quantities. <laughs> limited quantities of everything. They will have the first release of the DTA Dunny series based on artists that were in past DTA Dunny shows. So including people like Andrea Kang, The Bots, Gary Hamm, uh, Quix, um, Tamadachi Island. And? And then? I think that's it. And then? No, maybe there's more. I don't know. But th- those people, plus maybe some more, um, are going to be there. Um, looks like a really strong series. Very interested to see them. Hopefully we get some good um, photos out of uh, Five Points because I really am interested in owning some of that series. Um, I got to say, a few of Arcane Divination do it for me, um, but I don't know that I want to risk buying a bunch of those. I um, imagine I, one's heavier than the others, so you might be able to get that one. Yeah. But this one, like in this series, I'm really actually excited to own a lot of the pieces. So maybe this is a good time to get back on the blind box game. Choo choo. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. I don't know. We'll see as we get closer and we see some photos of those pieces. Um, but make sure to stop over there. Cause I'm sure those are going to go, um, relatively quickly. There's a lot of people excited for that series. So power core booth tree 44 power core power core. <laughs> we'll have a custom Mecha Tro We Go show, which is weird to say, with a thousand toys. It is the one twelfth inch scale figures of, I guess, the previous figures that they've had at like Designer Con. Yeah, the custom they did shows that custom and, show last year. Yeah, and so this time around, they are customized by international artists, and they named a couple: Paul Kaiju, Buana Spoons, Rampage Toys, and Phase Two. And they said that they also have a couple Toy Con UK things from Dake and okay. Dali Oblong. Very cool. So uh, we talked about this slightly earlier, but there is an event taking place on Friday, May 19th. They did not list a time that I could find anywhere. But the Designer Toy Awards, as we have talked about before, will be taking place. The party of all parties to be at for (laughs) Designer Toys um, and and see all your favorite artists in one place and bloggers and all kinds of stuff. Um, The only way to get there, though, um, is if you have the VIP ticket or your industry insider. And uh, I forget there's another way to get in, but those are the main ways to you get break in. in. You break in, um, but crash the party. It's always, it's always a fun time and it is hosted by none other, other than super size me himself, Morgan Spurlock. And um, at the same time, sponsored by Laganitas, the beer, the beer. So I uh, get yourself some beer, watch a famous guy, hang out with a bunch of toy nerds, <laughs> actually, though, um, from what I understand, he is actually a toy nerd himself. And um, we're sorry in advance that we cannot hoist any said hardware with you all if we happen to win anything. <laughs> and our chances sink. What we need is one of those little pins, like the little pins are going to sell. We mm-hmm. can hoist that even if we don't win. <laughs> Skype in. So, uh, but yeah, so if you want, you know, we want to go meet up with some of the artists and see people get rewarded for things that they've been doing throughout the years, toys, resins, whatever, blogging, blogging, being cool, being cool. I don't know. Artist of the year, lifetime achievements, all that kind of stuff. Being a good store that everyone loves. So uh, if you want to go see that, make sure to head over there Friday, May 19th at the Webster Hall NYC. So very cool. Tenacious Toys booth, 229. The only piece that we've seen advertised so far is the Resin is King 4 series. $30 each. Yep. So we that talked about all. that last week, I believe. Lots of good good people involved in that, including Lisa for One-Eyed Girl, um, Dead Hand Toys, Kyle Forces Kerwin, of Darkness. Forces of Darkness, um, and a whole bunch of other people that we, we're going to butcher everybody's names. So we just stop right there and tell you it's 100 pieces in the series. So get over there, spend 30 bucks, and try your luck. Um, see what you get. Um, they've had a lot of success with these in the past, so lots of fun. Uh, the The final piece of news that I have is actually another party. Woo! Party. So um, if you get we the, don't need no water. If you get the VIP Nothing. ticket, parties included. Um, if you don't, I believe it is thirty dollars to get in. Um, but it's called the Five Points Fest official after party taking place 
Saturday, May 20th from 8 to 2 a.m. Some music provided. With DJs, bowling, and giveaways. Um, so it, it sounds like it's going to be a good time. Um, on the Marsham Toy R, they also talked about their R arcade games there. Um, those those are not included, but you can um, you know pay and you know pay to play. Uh, type pay thing. your quarters. So you can pay to play on the arcade games, but it does sound like it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you do have that VIP ticket, make sure to check it out. If you don't, it's probably worth the the money. They said they you know they got a lot of stuff going on there. So um, that's probably pretty cheap for a New York cover charge on a bar. I don't know. That's <laughs> or just bribe the doorman. Yep, just bribe the doorman. Pretend like you're really really important and uh, just walk in like you're a toy toy lord of Chinatown. Just tell them you're the bots. <laughs> no one knows who the bots are. So. Yeah, you're UVD. <laughs> people know who we are. They see us every week. Isn't that? But no one sees the bots. Yeah, that's true. Nobody does. Um, but if you uh, happen to be going to Five Points Fest, we uh, congratulate you on going to the honorary or the the inaugural, I guess we'll say, uh, New York uh, official like toy show. Other uh, than New York, New York City. Yeah, I think though, I, I think as time goes, you're going to see people um, going less and less to New York Comic Con. If this if this really takes off, it, it really could be huge for Desire Toys. Um, I think it's a really cool model involving more than just Desire Toys. I think bringing the food on is really really cool. Um, bringing the beer on is really cool. When we go to C two E two, they actually somehow um, get Revolution in there. Yeah, so like you can actually drink it on the convention floor. So that's that's really cool. Um, it, it's not the cheapest, but you can drink it on the, on the convention floor. It's like an even larger scale of a concert where everyone just smells like beer and it's spilled everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, that's something I did think about. What about like, you know, somebody's walking by the cotton candy machine booth, and they spill their beer all over, a br- all over a stack of prints or something that that could get a little, a little dicey, but, um, punk rock. I'm very, um, very, I think it's a very cool model. It'd be very cool if a uh, designer con was able to do something like that, you know, where they had, um, food cause it's really hard to get food at designer con. Um, I don't know if anybody that's been there, um, you have to go across the street and it's not always, it's either super busy or it's not always like what you really want for the price you have to pay. So, and the food at the convention is okay. It's not great. We need some food trucks. They need food trucks. Uh, I think they're working on that. I think I saw something about that. Um, but this, this, uh, model, I can see it being very successful in the future. So we wish clutter and, uh, left field media, all the success. Uh, maybe if we're lucky next year, we'll be able to attend too. So. We'll see. Uh, until then, uh, make sure to head over to the clutter booth number 234 and grab a pink Luna. And if you do, make sure to uh, tweet at us or Instagram at us, whatever you want to do. Put it on Facebook. Hashtag us. Hashtag us. Uh, do something. Make sure that we get to see it because we're really excited for the colorway. So we're really excited that uh, it's going to be getting into fans' as hands. Um, fans' as hands. Fans' as hands soon. Uh, we will have a corresponding um, release later on of a... Shh of a uh, pin version of pink Luna. So if you're a fan of uh, pink Luna and can't either pick up the pink one or want a pin to go along with it, uh, make sure to keep an eye on UVD over on Instagram and we'll announce a release at some point in probably the next couple weeks, but um, not right away. Um, but I guess that kind of wraps up our five point festival episode. Um, we hope you guys have fun. Cause Enjoy. We, won't, we won't, we'll be in a car <laughs> or painting or painting. Uh, But as always, I'm Travis. And I'm Ben. Have a great designer toy day. Thanks for checking out our video right here on youtube.com slash urban vinyl daily. While you're here, make sure to give us a subscribe and a like. And if you're so gracious, you can share this video on your favorite social network. You can always give us a follow on Instagram or Twitter at Urban Vinyl Daily or find us on Facebook by going to facebook.com slash Urban Vinyl Daily and you'll be able to keep up with our latest posts and information going on in the world of UVD. If you want to help us out in more of a monetary way, you can always head over to our store, urbanvinylDaily.storeenvy.com and check out all the awesome things we have available from great artists from all over the world. Or you can head over to our PayPal and just straight up donate to us to help us keep the lights on and keep things going by going to paypal.com and sending money over to urbanvinyldaily at gmail.com. And that will help us out in more ways than you know. If you want to keep up with everything going on in the world of UVD, make sure to head over to urbanvinylDaily.com. Or if you're interested in sponsorship information, a comment, or a question, make sure to head over to urbanvinyldaily at gmail.com and send us a message. And if it's good enough, we'll answer it right here on the UVD Weekly Wrap-Up. As always, this has been an Urban Vinyl Daily production.